Let's talk about why numbers don't matter. Statistics can tell us a lot about the world, but the fact is, we're not robots. We don't just see the world in cold, hard facts. We see it from our perspective, as human beings, with all of our feelings and opinions feeding in. That's not always such a bad thing, but it can distort our views in some important ways. A good example of this is commercial aviation. Statistically, airplanes are the safest way to travel, with far fewer deaths per mile than trains, buses, and cars. But at the end of the day, you're still in an aluminum tube, up to 40,000 feet in the sky, traveling at over 500 miles per hour. And sometimes our brain tells us that this just can't be right. And in extremely rare cases, when anything does go wrong, it can be a seriously frightening event. So despite planes being really safe from a statistical point of view, you can fully understand why so many people are scared of flying. The fact that being a commercial aviation passenger is by far the safest way to travel just doesn't cut it for many people. The fact is, feelings often override facts. To take another aviation-related example, a recent investigation found airport security in some parts of the U.S. to be surprisingly weak, with investigators managing to transport items through checkpoints 67 out of 70 times. Given the length of time it takes us all to get through airport security, this might come as some surprise. So what's the point? Well, whether it always works out or not, intensive airport security checks do act as a deterrent, discouraging people from trying to sneak anything through in the first place. Plus, for us as passengers, seeing all that security helps make us feel safe and secure. In this case, making people feel safe is very important, even if we are terrified of flying once we actually get through security. Next time you fly, try to take some solace from the fact that you're taking the safe option. Just because you're not in control of the airplane and you're zooming above the earth at hundreds of miles per hour, don't let that cloud your judgment.